Okay, now remember us guys focus on this one where we are also going to see more of exams. So we are doing last that six forces, nine, five, seven, three, one, and four. Newtons act alongside speed Q. So let us name this first. This is going to be our P Q R S D. Then this is going to be our U. So six forces. PQ is going to the order, the determining aspect, and UP over the hexagon coincides two meters. If the directions are being indicated by the order of letters and take PQ as the reflex axis, find the magnitude of the resultant force. So now it's not RPQ, it's going to be here. The force there, the event has its nine newtons. Then QR, five QR, the then this is going to be five newtons. Then RS, the identity mass is 7 newtons. This one, ST, the identity mass is 3 newtons. Then TU, the identity mass is 1 newton. TU, the direction should be indicated. Then UP, UP, they are giving us for newtons. UP, so that is our UP for newtons. Then from there, they are asking us to get the resultant and the direction. Okay, so now here what we do with simple terms, you know that always we get always we need always these angles here. So you know that always this one is going to be our exterior angle there. This one is going to act as our exterior angle there. The same to this is going to act as our exterior angle. All of these ones are going to be our exterior angle. So we start one by one. You know that the exterior angle of a linear polygon is given by the exterior angle is given by 360 over n where n is the number of sides it's going to be now 360 over 6 which would be 60 degrees so meaning here i'm adding my 60 degrees so meaning if i have that i can now easily resolve this force i go this side then i'll come up like this so I'll now resolve that force. So this one is going to be, you see this one is adjacent, so it's going to be 5, then cos 60 degrees. This one is going to be 5 sine 60 degrees. So that one is done. When you come to this, <coughs> when you come to this, you need also, <coughs> you need also to get an angle of it. So you either get this angle, this one here. Then this one is okay. Then we need to get this angle. How do you get this exterior angle here? If you get this exterior angle here, you see this one is going to be the exterior angle here. This one is going to be 60 degrees. So we shall come like this, then we come to that side. So like that, then the side. So this one is going to be this one adjacent to be one cos 60 degrees. Then this will be one sine. 60 degrees. Then this one, you see it's coming. You see this one is coming, so we need to get this angle here. So this angle here is going to be 60. This won't work for us properly, so it's better we get this one is horizontal. So this one is horizontal. It's going to be, this one is going to be also 60 degrees. So if this one is 60 degrees, now it's like our force is coming. So meaning this one will also come like this. It will come like this. Then it will go like that. So this will be now for this now basing on this angle, this one. But it's like our force there. Where is it originating? Okay. Basing on our angle, this one. This one is going to be adjacent. This one is going to be our importance. You see, it should be coming from there. Anyway, now when we come to this, we need also to get this angle here. This one here. Where our force, this angle there. So this angle is going to be 60. And this force is going to be coming. So it will be going like this. So then after, it comes there. So this will be 7. Because this one is opposite to be 7 now sine 60 degrees and then this would be 7 cos 60 degrees because this is adjacent what I've been doing field 
Okay, this is opposite. This is opposite, it's going to be 4. Then this is opposite sine 60 degrees. Then this will be adjacent, it will be 4 cos 60 degrees. So now we have finished resolving. So now we say, let us get the x components. So x will be, first of all, we have this 9, then plus a negative 3, which is opposing. Is there anything which is going in that direction? Yes, we have plus 5. Or 60 degrees, it's going that side, then this one is opposing, so minus 7, you see it's going this side, so it's opposing, that's why it has a negative, or 60 degrees, so this one is also opposing, so minus 1 or 60 degrees, then this one is going in that direction, then plus 4 or 60 degrees, so pressing that on the calculator, uh, we shall be having now 9 minus 3 plus 5 cos 7 sin 60 degrees. Then this is going down. The rest are opposing. So we have now this one. So we are subtracting minus 1 sin 60 degrees. Then minus also this one 4 sin 60 degrees. And so here my y is going to be. If you press that, you get 5 sin 60. I'm getting 6.0622 newtons. So in prime that now my fr is going to be xy. The resultant force for the whole, which is 6.5, then this is 6.0622 newtons. Now they want us to get a magnitude. You see, if I'm reversing it, it's going to be like this. All of them are positive. This side, then this side, like that. So it starts this one is the x 6.5 newtons, then 6.0, 622 newtons, and this is going to be our resultant. So to get this magnitude, it's going to be the square root of the x component then plus the y component which was 6.0622 the whole square and so this will give us we said 6.0622 squared plus This one is giving me 8.8882 newtons. How do you get the direction? Our direction is very good also. It's going to be given by tan. This one is alpha. Tan alpha equaling 2. Now, this opposite 6.0622 over 6.5 that yes it and so our alpha will be so here I'm getting for the 3 point zero degrees and that will be our direction so we say the man who comes around the is this in acting at 43 degrees 
along PQ. And so that's how we have seen how to describe it. So that's what we have for now. For the example, we have seen when they are giving new forces in. We have also seen when we don't have any forces in. So that's it, members. See you. Be always careful. Always, if you need always to be having a horizontal before you resolve. That's why this was not used. But you have to keep the direction of the forces very clear. So that's it, members. See you. I'll call me a walker.